Now you can see I run a flat board here. That's how my grandfather taught me to do it. So that's how I've been doing it. They have chewed through, so I might have to put a new one on. Now what I want to show you is, is these, if I can get them out. This is my hive beetle trap. And these bees are starting to get a little bit aggro. So we'll just give them a little bit more smoke to calm them down. Now there's numerous hive beetle traps and things out there. This is something that I've sort of come up with. Uh, somebody, somebody told me about it. And then I've modified it. Now, what it is, is a piece of uh, vinyl flooring from, from a carpet shop and I've put a, a metal strip along the top, folded that on a, fold, a sheet metal bender and what it does is it traps all these hive beetles in the felt stuff on the back and they tangle up and they get their legs caught and they die. Yeah, it does occasionally get a few bees. Uh, I've found, had really, really good success with this, this style of hive beetle trap. Um, it tends to, as you can see, get a lot and I will take it out and, oh, that one there's not quite dead yet. But um, what you can do is when they, when they are dead, you can see the bees want to kill them, you can just rough it back up again like this and put it back into the hive. And it's reusable. This one's almost at the end of its life. It's getting a lot of stuff in it. So I'll probably put a new one back in when I put, put this back in. But where the hives where I run these, these hive beetle traps, I run one in each side of every box. I seem to have very, very few hive beetles and not much problem, which is awesome. I'll have a look at the trap on the other side. Not quite as many in that one, there is a few. Um, bees get caught as they come up. You just flick them out. But yeah, I'm having great success with these, these hive beetle traps. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this box because it's nice and full of honey and uh, we're gonna get some honey out of it. Don't really want any of the bees coming inside with me. So we'll try and leave as many of those out here as we can. Now I aim not to hurt my bees because they make me honey. So the least number of bees I can squash the better.
think we'll put her outside. ready to go, centrifugal force, spinning around like this, we'll spin the honey out and we'll have beautiful gold honey. See all the honey starting to run down the sides. We've still got a lot more spinning and we're going to go the other way in a minute. Now if you don't know what this is, this is a queen excluder. The worker bees can fit through the holes, but because the queen is larger, she physically can't fit through the holes. So that keeps all the brood down here in this bottom box. Leaves the honey up in the top box so that it's easy to extract. Now you can see here the brood, not massive patches of brood, pollen and capped honey. Uh, I'm looking for signs of the American fowl brood, which is a devastating disease. I can't see any in this frame, I'll have a look at another frame. Oh, that's got much better brood on it. You can see big mm -hmm. patches of brood there. The brood looks nice and clean. Uh, there's baby bees hatching. I'm, I'm happy with that. 